So the challenge with making a, a good gravure print is really to get the file from the computer. It has to do everything. Because um, once you make the plate, there's not a whole lot of, of um, ways to change value or it, um, in, in particular. So, so, so you have to you have to get get the 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 file right. Um, anyway, and then and then the first thing you do is you you, you work with the file on the computer, and then then we output it. Um, I don't know if you can. Is there, is, is, is there light, light, light coming through this? Okay. So that this is a transparency. And, and you make it the same size as the plate's going to be. Um, and so then, then what happens is we have uh, a plate, and I don't, I don't want to have an unexposed one because it would get messed up probably in the light, but um, you can see, if you could imagine this with, there's probably some, bit, some image you can see mm -hmm. on it, but if you could imagine this, it it's, would be just solid green. So, so you start with that. And basically, you just lay the, the transparency right on top of the plate, and then, then there's a machine in the other room that, that, uh, that exposes to ultraviolet light, and it has a, a vacuum press in it, too. So it, so it, sucks, the, it sucks the transparency tight onto the plate, and then you, you turn it on, and it exposes the plate to ultraviolet light. And what that does is um, the, 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 the plate is a, has a steel backing, and then it has a po the, the green stuff is a polymer material that's photo, it's photosensitive. And then when you uh, develop it in water, you wash it in water, um, I always get confused which way it goes, but basically you, the, what, what gets exposed is washed away. Um, and so it gives you a plate that has ridges and valleys that mimic the original transparency. When you wash out, are you hand washing out, or uh, do you really use a photopolymer machine? No, you you just put it in a in a one of the, a big photo tray and and you let it sit just a little bit, and then then you you just rub it gently with your hands and there's there's a little bit of a film that comes off and you can it's, you can smell it yeah. I mean it's not a bad smell but there's a slight odor that kind of comes up and um, it's subtle but but it, but you can see you can see the image it, I guess it's just kind of like the, like in the dark room you've seen this, a print uh, an image come up on the print that you, you start to see the image come up in the tray which is kind of cool and then I have a little mix of, of ink that I've already mixed up and then I'm just going to darken it a little bit with some black that I have here. So. Um. And you can put put the ink on the plate any different number of ways with a brayer. I've, I've just started to use a card because it I somehow like it better. As you can see, that I'd have to be holding the plate with my hand. So as I as I start to wipe the plate, you can see the image starting to come out.
Thank you.